Good morning, Harvest Kids. It was so good to see some of you a while back. Naomi, will you play and hide and seek with me? You guys are getting so big. Anyway, today we have a story for you. Uh, it's called Worthy is the Lamb from Genesis 49 and in Revelation 5. So get ready. Here we go. Worthy is the Lamb. When Jacob was on his deathbed, he called his twelve sons and said, Gather yourselves together so I can tell you what will happen to you in the days to come. Then, starting with his oldest son, Reuben, Jacob gave each son a prophecy about his future. When he came to Judah, Jacob said, Judah is a lion's cub. And the scepter of leadership shall not depart from Judah. This meant that the leaders of Israel would come from Judah's family. We know that Judah died, but a ruler did come from his family who fulfilled Jacob's word about his son. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. But Jesus didn't stay in the tomb like other kings of Judah. He rose again and went back to his father in heaven to hold the scepter of leadership forever. Years later, when the Apostle John was very old, the Roman Emperor sent him to the island of Patmos as a punishment for his faith. While he was on that island, God sent an angel to John in a vision. He told John how the prophecy God first gave Jacob would be fulfilled by Jesus. John wrote down the vision in which we now call the Book of Revelation. In John's vision, God held a small scroll sealed with seven seals. John wrote, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. John began to cry because no one was able to open God's scroll. The scroll represented God's plan to bring an end to sin once and for all, and to bring all his children into heaven. Only someone God the Father approved could even try to open it. Then, suddenly, one of the elders told John to stop crying. There was one person who could break the seals and open the scroll, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. But when John looked for the lion, he saw a lamb. The lamb and the lion both represent Jesus Christ. Jesus was sacrificed like a lamb for our sins, but he conquered death like a mighty lion. <clears throat> Jesus the lamb reached for the scroll, and God the Father allowed him to take it. Then the four living creatures and the 24 elders began singing a new song that they had never sung before. They sang to Jesus, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals because you were slain and your blood has saved people for God from every tribe, language, and people and nation. Then everyone in heaven joined in saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Jacob's far-off great-grandson, Jesus, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, was able to open the scroll. Isn't it amazing to know that God planned to bring us his salvation through Jesus thousands of years before Jesus was ever born? Way back then, God gave Jacob a prophetic word for his son Judah that looked ahead to Jesus' first coming. Today, in the book of Revelation, God gives us a look ahead to Jesus' second coming. When we read John's revelation, we look ahead to the day when Jesus will come again to take the scroll of God's plan of salvation, break open its seal, and complete God's saving plan. Isn't that a nice thought? Okay, don't go yet. Now we're going to ask you some questions. Okay, boys and girls, can you see the picture that we have? Do you see those people all with their hands raised? Why do you think they're so excited? Do you remember from our story? They're 
so excited because Jesus was able to open God's scroll. And in our story, they called, John called Jesus the Lamb of God. Does anybody remember why he is a lamb? Because he was sacrificed for our sins, like they sacrificed lambs. But he's also called a lion. Does anybody remember why he was called a lion? He's a lion because lions are big and strong. He was called a lion because he conquered death. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story, and I hope to see you again next week. Um, if you have any comments or anything, go ahead and leave them in the comics be comments below the video. And until then, just remember, you are loved.